Hi, James Britt here from the HTSUC team. Today, I want to show you the best practice default way to configure T1 and E1 clocking for voice lines from a single carrier or clocking domain. First, we are going to log into our router and access the privileged exec mode. Then we're going to look and see what our current clocking configuration is. Here we can see that our network clock synchronization is set to auto and our controllers are set to clock source line. This is often the default clocking that will be set with no configuration. As you can see, we have some slips here, meaning that our transmit and receive buffers for the interface are out of sync. We have one T1 here that is receiving clock from our carrier source, so we want to configure it appropriately to be the source of the clock for our card as a whole, so that the card does not try and sync with the backplane of the router, as this can cause slips at times. We're going to enter the configuration mode and make the changes to disable participation in the card from the network clock synchronization first. Since our controller is on the card in subslot 0 slash 1, that is where we apply the command to. If you are uncertain, you can find that in the first two numbers of the interface for the controller interface number or in the show inventory output. Next, we are going to set our clock source for the controller itself to clock source line primary, which will make it the clock source for the card's interfaces, and the controller. Now that the card is properly configured, we're going to check and see if our slips have been resolved. First, we will clear all the counters. And let's look at the output of show controller T1 now. As we can see, the slopes have now been alleviated. On these routers, this is the best default way to configure the clocking if you're unsure and you're receiving clock from the carrier. Hope this helps.